I'm Tracy Sinclair and this is your fast cast for July 4th, 2024. Your top story for today, looking at that wildfire north of Fairbanks, the grapefruit complex. According to the morning briefing, the Eagle Fire, which is part of the complex, crossed the Trans-Alaska Pipeline Corridor in two places on Wednesday. Officials say no damage was done to the pipeline. They didn't get any rain yesterday, but they are hoping for some rain on Thursday. In a briefing earlier Thursday, Russ Long, the operations section chief, said they are expecting some wetting rain but even yesterday they had torching trees in the black spruce due to dry fuels now the good news is evacuations have been updated as well all go or red evacuations have been reduced milepost 30 to 57 are now at set and milepost 18 to 30 and 57 to 65 are in ready status in other news down at mount marathon in seward David Norris from Steamboat Springs, Colorado, broke his previous Mount Marathon record by running the course in 40 minutes and 37 seconds. His previous record was 41.26. Norris was or is originally from Fairbanks. Max King took second and Jesse McCowley took third place. Eagle River's Michael Earnhardt finished seventh with a time of 45.34, making him the highest placing Alaskan male. In the women's race, it began at 2 o'clock on Thursday afternoon with no rain and cool conditions. It appeared pretty optimal for running up the mountain. For the women, Claire Rhodes of Anchorage took the top spot with a time of 49 minutes and 49 seconds. Kendall Kramer came in second and Meg Inokuma took third position, took the third position. And the junior racers started out 9 o'clock on Thursday morning. Kobe, Kobe Marvin from Palmer finished in the top spot with a time of 25.49. This is his third year in a row winning this race. We asked how he felt about it. Um, I think a lot of pressure. Um, I was excited, but I also wanted to make it a good one. Um, and I knew Vabian was going to be a lot faster this year, so I was definitely nervous about that. Yeah, it, it's super cool. Um, glad I could pull it off just because it's my last year to give it a go. So. For the girls' race, Olive Jordan from Seward crossed the finish line in a time of 34.01. I was thinking I was going to get like fourth, probably again, because everyone else is there and everyone's stronger. I've been dreaming about it for a while, like before every race. So, yeah. And like I did track just so I could do better on the road. And congratulations to all the winners. Jordan and Tyler are in Seward and we'll have the latest on Mount Marathon. And of course, we'll have the wrap up of all the day's events across the state for the 4th of July. Join us at 6 o'clock and 10 o'clock on Channel 2 and Channel 5.